me TBDs. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm starting out the video a little different with my face done. This video, I'm gonna show you guys how I've been doing my stay at home slash quarantine makeup. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I work from home. Well, during this time I work from home. And so I have been trying to play around with what kind of makeup works for me. That is not too much, but gives me a little bit of something when I am having to do a video call or even just to feel more put together. When I wake up in the morning, I feel kind of still in weekend mode when I don't put on makeup. So that's just kind of like the routine that I've got into as I wake up and I put on makeup and then I go to work. So when I put on makeup, I feel like I'm a little bit more productive throughout the day. I, you know, definitely give my skin breaks when I don't need to be putting on makeup. Um, I can actually give my skin more breaks throughout the week than when I'm actually working. So I don't have to put on makeup five days out of the week. So I do give my skin a little bit of a break, but on a day like Monday where I am tired and I don't want to work, I throw on face makeup because I'm like, you know what, this is going to help me be a little bit more like in the groove, in the zone of working. So this is going to be a quick, simple, not very many products type of look that just gets me, you know, kind of what I need for the day and ready for the work day, even though I'm still at home. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Let me know down in the comments, what are some other videos you'd like to see me do either related to like staying at home or quarantine or just any videos in general that you'd like to see me do, let me know that down in the comments. But let's go ahead and hop into the video. So first I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. This has pretty much been my go-to everyday primer. I'll either use this or the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I actually tried to put on like a full face of matte foundation the other day and I was like, what's happening to my skin? I think my skin is getting like really dry. I don't know if it's from the different or what, but it did not look good. And then I had to go to this routine because you know, the foundation I was using before was not working out well for my skin. So then I take my CoverGirl Undercover Concealer. I'm getting low on this, but basically I start like I'm putting this on just as normal concealer and I blend that in. Then once that's blended in, I take a little bit of this all over, like three dots on the forehead, on the sides of my nose. And I switch to my It Cosmetics Love is the foundation brush to blend this in. It does not have to look perfect right now. Then a little bit on this side of my face, a little on this side, and I put a little bit on my chin. This so far has been the best concealer that I have found for doing a look like this. All right, then I'm gonna go back in just a dab on my under eyes. And I immediately, before I blend this one in, I go in with my Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix Powder. And just set that down. All right, and I'm gonna set this side down right underneath my eyes. Now I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and take this powder all over the skin just to set that concealer down and make the coverage a little bit more even around my face. Like I did not do a good job at ugh, keeping my hair from my face because it's getting everywhere. I'm gonna take that same concealer, put it on my lid. This is a good base for eyeshadow and it gives a little bit of coverage. And I'm gonna set that down with the same powder. I'm not sure what is in this powder that makes it not look heavy or cakey. Even though I just applied a full face of powder to my skin, my skin does not look heavy or cakey or dry or anything like that. So now I'm gonna take my Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Sunkissed 02. Just bronzing up the skin a little bit. This is a nice like neutral brown shade. The one thing I will say with this powder is that I feel like it breaks up easily. Like the powder itself, I'll try and show you without it going everywhere. But this powder, like there's little pieces that kind of break off. It's hard to see. I don't know, maybe I'm like pressing into the powder too hard or something. I don't know, but I don't think I am. And I'm taking a big fluffy brush, taking that same Milani bronzer, putting this in the crease. I like doing this routine because it doesn't feel like I have a full face of foundation on. It just feels like I have a little bit of powder, but it doesn't feel as heavy as if 
I had like a full face of foundation on, you know? And I'm not going anywhere, so it doesn't have to look incredibly nice, but if I was on a Zoom meeting or something like that, or a FaceTime meeting, this would allow me to have a little bit of something on the skin, but not something that takes too long to put together. And I take some blush. I've been loving the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush in the shade Sweet Pea. Just like a good matte blush. For highlight, I like using this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade 1 Be My Highlight or 10 Be My Highlight. I don't know. It's the one that everyone loves. It's not too intense of a highlight. You can wear this very subtly or you can build it up a little bit like I did on this side where it's a little bit more noticeable. I take this down the center of my nose, on the tip, and on my cupid's bow. And I take an itty bitty tiny brush and take that Put it on the inner corner of my eye just to open it up, brighten the eye a little bit. Then I do my brows, so I'm gonna take my e.l.f. brow pencil and I will be right back when I'm done with the brows. Alright you guys, so my eyebrows are done. I just did them how I normally do them and I feel like this one's looking weird. Why do you look weird? So the last step that I do is I go ahead and apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And as you can see, the powder has warmed up to my skin now, so it has darkened a little bit. Some days I will skip the blush. I pretty much do bronzer and highlight every day, just because I feel like it defines the face better. But sometimes I'll skip blush. And the goal of this look is to look like put together. Not so much that I have like all this makeup on. I just want to look professional if I need to hop on to a video call, which I'm sure if you are working from home, maybe your business is taking advantage of that and making you do the same thing. I also do not do this look every day. If I know I don't have a video call, I'm not doing my makeup. There's no way. Now that my lashes are done, they don't need to look super built up, just something a little bit like more soft and fluttery. I will take some Aquaphor. This is pretty much what I use for daily lip balm forever. Like I just wear this at night. I wear, it's just the best, cheapest lip balm ever. And this is also a t-shirt, you guys. Like I just threw this jacket on because it makes me look more professional. <laughs> I already curled my hair yesterday, so that's why it looks the way that it does. But if I were to hop on a video call right now, I would look totally fine. I'd still be in a t-shirt. I'm still in leggings, guys. Ugh. And I'm still in my slippers, you know? If I just throw like a jean jacket or something on over my t-shirt that I'm just lounging in, I look like 100% more professional and now I look put together in case I did get called onto a video call or I needed to do something where I was like being seen by someone so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know are you guys doing makeup during this time of like staying at home maybe if you don't work at home then you won't need to do this I know it's a huge change for those of us who do go into work and then now are having to work from home trying to find a structure trying to find a routine trying to find you know a workspace that works for you all of those things and I think that for myself this helps speed up the process of getting ready in the morning in terms of the skin pretty much everything else is I normally do every single day anyway but I just changed up how I do the skin and when I am getting ready in the morning and I'm not filming this look takes me like maybe 15 minutes. So I know I can just get up, shower, do my makeup, go downstairs and hop on to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving me a thumbs up. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I hope you had a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.